Did you know that a flexible cutting mat can make a perfect paint palette? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just how I use it for that purpose. Hi, I'm Angie Knowles, a mixed media textile artist and an online educator. I create art quotes using the processes of dyeing, printing, and stitching, and I love sharing them with you here on this channel and my online classes. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a flexible cutting mat from the Dollar Tree as a paint palette. Now, I'm not a traditional painter, so I don't have paint palettes around. And instead of jumping in a car or ordering something online, I like to see if there's something in my studio that I have that I can use as a substitute. And I decided that these flexible cutting mats would be a perfect paint palette. So let's gather our supplies and I'll show you how I use it. First, we're going to need a cutting mat. And as I said, I got these from the dollar store. And then you're going to need your brushes and paints. In my case, I'm using a palette because I want to roll the paint out in a thin layer and apply it to my stamp. This flexible surface is perfect for mixing paint or for rolling out paint as I'm doing. Just squeeze out a small amount and use your palette knife, or in my case, the brayer, and mix and roll it out as you need to. The smooth surface makes it very easy to mix your paint or to roll it out, and the non-porous surface means it won't absorb any of your paint, so there's no wasted paint. And it's great because it's lightweight and flexible and easy to clean. Now you can very easily just wipe this down with a clean cloth, but what I like to do is take some of my cleanup papers that I've cleaned my brayer off on, put it down on the mat, on top of the wet paint and just let it sit and dry for as long as I possibly can. And what will happen is when you pull the paper off, it will lift up a lot of that paint as you can see here. The remaining paint, I just take and spritz it down with some water and clean it up with a damp rag. Easy peasy, no fuss, no muss. Using these cutting mats as a paint palette is very practical and very inexpensive because you get two to a package for $1.25 now instead of a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they're so thin that you can store them in the smallest amount of space possible. That means you can have a number of these ready to go when you need them. So give it a try. And I think you'll see why this is one of my favorite hacks in my studio. So guys, that's it for this short, quick little tip and hack. I hope you enjoyed it and found it very useful. And if you did, please hit that like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you back in the next video. But until then, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye now.